Hello, my name is Dr. Cynthia Colon, and I am the author of Tips, Tales, and Truths for Teens. Welcome to College Spotlight Series. Today, I am focused on Northwestern University. Let me start by saying that this college does seem to have it all. A lake view, top academics, Division I athletics, highly impressive students, quick access to a major city, and oh, I just have to mention that Julia Louis-Dreyfus is an alum of Northwestern. She was once watching her son play basketball at the school where I was principal, and I was nervous, but I walked right over to her and introduced myself and told her I was a big fan. I still am, and she was wonderful. Okay, grab your beverage of choice, your sunglasses, and picture yourself enjoying the breeze of Lake Michigan. You will want to take notes on these three things that you need to know. First, Northwestern attracts students from all over the world. It shouldn't have surprised me, but it did pique my interest to know that the, of the 8,000 students at Northwestern, they represent 75 different countries. I loved that at the admission presentation, they asked the audience where they were from. And of those who, who raised their hand and participated, I heard Minnesota, California, Florida, and Illinois. There were at least 10 additional families there who I'm sure likely represented other states or countries. And as I walked around campus that day, though it was the end of the year, I did feel like it was more diverse than most campuses I've been to. I even heard other languages being spoken by students. So it was wonderful to see and hear the diversity at Northwestern. Okay, number two. The academics with an emphasis with good connections to professors. Okay, so what I mean by this is this. Number one, Northwestern uh, almost expects that you're going to change majors multiple times, so at least once, and you're not going to get behind in your timeline, or I should say your parents' timeline, to get you graduated in four years. Number two, 70% of the students have more than one academic concentration. So they offer six different colleges. Those colleges are communication, music, journalism, engineering, education and social policy, arts and sciences. Based on what I heard and what I've sort of what I know, it basically seems like almost every student ha is majoring in something and also has an additional concentration in one of the other colleges, which is really really great. Number 3, Northwestern is on a quarter system. So I want you to write this down in case you don't know. A semester system is two semesters where you take four or five courses each time. So you're taking between eight and 10 classes in any given year. There are schools that are on a quarter system which offers three sessions and summer is optional. So in those three sessions, fall, winter, spring, you will take four and sometimes five classes. So you, at minimum, are taking 12 courses. So that's already more than the semester system. So just keep that in mind. Okay, number four, faculty and relationships. They have a student-faculty ratio of 7 to 1, and 77% of their courses have fewer than 20 students in them. I thought that was pretty amazing. I think it's pretty crazy to even think that. But it does mean that your professors are really going to get to know you, and they really talked about that in the presentation. And, and the students mentioned it as well. Okay, great thing number three about Northwestern. It is a student-run campus. So let me explain. Okay, so there's this big event that happens. It's called the Dance Marathon. And 1,500 students dance for 30 hours straight. Okay, sounds pretty fun actually. And it's a fundraiser, and they choose a different organization every year. So what I loved is that in March of 2017, Northwestern students raised, wait for it, $1.3 million for Gigi's Playhouse. I thought that was amazing. Even more fascinating is that this event is completely student-run and operated. And they have an executive board. So that executive board plans, coordinates, manages, um, budgets, supervises workers, and does everything from start to finish. So imagine having an opportunity to run a small organization with a $100,000 or a $500,000 budget, all before you turn 21. 
I cannot tell you what an opportunity this would be for you in developing your skills and your leadership and management for the future. So I got the impression after really having conversations with a few students intimately, they really talked about that Northwestern is really a, a training for leadership. And this is just one example of the many student-run organizations. Okay, I should end by giving you some numbers. So Northwestern is located in Chicago, Illinois, with a total student body of just over 8,000 undergraduates. They receive over 33,000 applicants, and they admit 13%. So you will need to bring your A game to Northwestern. And I just wanted to point out that in 2017, Northwestern received their first invitation to the NCAA tournament. Okay, my friends, that's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to hit like or share this video with others. And a huge shout out to Alyssa and Justin in the admission office and to a former student, Michelle Cahill, who works in the alumni office at Northwestern. Remember, together we are fueling confidence and building dreams. Wherever you are, may you have a happy and sunny day. Bye-bye.